In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix an issue you might have run across with the Text Plus follower. So I'm going to show you now what the problem is that you might have run across. So here I have Text Plus node set up with the word resolve, and I right clicked here and added a modifier. And I also went over to the shading tab and enabled the second and third element, which is the red outline and the shadow, which you can see here if I zoom in. So then I went over, add the modifiers, went over, set up the timing between each character, and I set the order from right to left. Then I went to the shading tab and to the position. So I'm gonna modify the position and have it, the letters come from left to right to the center of the screen. So I set the animation up by enabling the keyframing, move forward to the 29th frame, and then move the offset of the X. You'll see here when it's animated and I run through it, only the original letters move. The outline and the shadow do not because the follower hasn't been enabled in those two. So then you come up here to the shading under the modifiers. Make sure you have these two enabled there as well. So you want all three. Now there's multiple ways you could probably do this. You could go through and if it's not that complicated, of an animation or keyframing, you could just go through to each of the different shading elements and keyframe it just like you did the original, come to the position and set a keyframe and do the offset. But then you're gonna have three different paths for the three different ones. But a quick way to do this is just go on to, for the first one, the red outline, just come up to offset, right click on it, go to connect to, you're gonna want path one, position, and now if I go through and see the animation, you'll see that the path, the red path, is going along with it too. Just the shadow is remaining behind. So we'll do basically the same thing with the shadow, but there's one extra thing you have to take care of with that is that if you set it to directly follow that path, it'll move the shadow right underneath the lettering, the letters, and you won't be able to see it because it's slightly offset. So there's one extra thing you have to do. So you come over to make sure you're still in the modifiers. Make sure in the third element, which is the black shadow, the drop shadow, you come back to position again. But this time, instead of going directly to connect to, you want to modify it first. So you want to modify it to offset position. And then you go to the offset position, right click, and this is where you're going to connect it to. So you connect to path one position. Now you see the shadow is a little bit off by doing that. And then you just have to come up here to position and realign it. So I'll move that a little bit to the right, move it a little bit up. And then now as animation goes through, you'll see that all three elements, the original letters, the outline and the shadow all move together. Now, again, you could go in there and manually set that up. I think it's a lot easier, especially if you have a complicated animation to any what precision to just go in and do it this way by right clicking, connect to and path. So hopefully you found this video useful and I thank you for watching.